Good afternoon. My name is Oladapo Yeku. I'm a clinical assistant in medicine at the Massachusetts General Hospital and an instructor at Harvard Medical School. The talk I gave today was on chimeric antigen receptor T-cell therapy for ovarian cancer. Unlike acute ALL or B-cell ALLs, chimeric antigen receptor or CAR T-cell therapy has not been as effective for solid tumor malignancies. We think a lot of this is due to the tumor microenvironment and perhaps even the way we deliver or the co-stimulatory domains associated or built into these CAR T cells. Early work had shown that first generation CAR T cells for ovarian cancer were ineffective, likely due to an absence of a co-stimulatory domain. But since then, it's been unclear what further modifications are required to improve efficacy uh, in this disease. One of the things colleagues and I looked at were engrafting or modifying our CAR T cells to either secrete IL-12 or secrete a small, small chain variable fragment that binds to and inhibits PD-1. Our data with the IL-12 secreting CAR T cells showed that not only were these CAR T cells more effective or more potent on a per cell basis, they were also able to modulate the tumor microenvironment. This was exemplified by repolarizing the tumor-associated macrophages from an M2 phenotype to a more M1-like phenotype. They were also able to increase MAC class II presentation on tumor-associated dendritic cells. Animals that were treated in the lab with IL-12 secreting CAR T cells did significantly better than, or than animals that were treated with the second generation of standard CAR T cells suggesting that the second generation CAR T cell approach would likely be ineffective if taken to clinical trials. Based in part of the strength of this study, we embarked on a phase one clinical trial looking at these enhanced IL-12 secreting CAR T cells in patients with recurrent or metastatic ovarian cancer. The next approach I talked about was looking at armoring or modifying these CAR T cells to secrete a small SCFV that blocks PD-1 thereby bringing together the best approaches from immune checkpoint blockade with adoptive T-cell therapy. What we found was that these armored or SCFV secreting CAR T-cells were just as effective, if not more effective, than a combination approach where we gave second generation CAR T-cells with immune checkpoint antibodies exogenously. Furthermore, we found that these armored CAR T-cells persisted longer in the bone marrow and tumor models or animals that were treated with this were able to resist a second lethal round of injections with tumor. Lastly, we found that the armored or SCFV secreting CAR T cells were able to stimulate or recruit the endogenous immune system, thereby broadening the response from uh, SCFV based response to a more TCR or broader based mechanism. In addition, we found that because of the mechanism of expansion or local expansion with these CAR T cells, the SCFV secreted was contained within the cavity where the CAR T cells were infused, whereas systemic administration, uh, whereas a bigger pardon, whereas IP administration of antibody led to more systemic uh, distribution of immune checkpoint blockade. And this has implications for toxicity when we deliver these therapies. Thank you.